said, just gonna talk about are you ready to be your own boss? Starting now. We're ready to start, folks. Good morning. The dogs, they're invited. The whole family's welcome. <laughs> 30, 30 minutes? Yeah, 30 or 31 minutes. Thank you so much. All right. Okay. Well, we're going to get started. Good evening and good morning. How's everybody today? Good. I'm uh, Carl Jeffers. I'm president of Intelli Marketing Associates, a franchise development firm. And I also serve, as in full disclosure here, uh, as vice president and director of franchising for the Yay Yogurt uh, uh, chain of uh, self serve yogurt stores. So. Uh, you may see the booth here, so you'll be able to talk to people as well during the course of your stay here at the show. Uh, I hope that all of you who are here, I hope that you're thinking about why am I here right now? What am I, what am I doing here? Uh, and, and the reason that I want you to be thinking about that is because I want you to know that when you leave here, unless you have an understanding about why you're here, what your purpose was in coming here, You'll be right back here again a year from now, sitting in the same chair, looking for a business. I've seen it. I've seen it before. I've recognized people uh, from shows. I've recognized people who've come to say hello to me uh, to, at a show. Maybe a couple of shows later, a couple of years later. Maybe it's even later than that. Kids are ready for college now. I recognize that when they were first in before. All of those things, it's important. And the reason that they haven't been able to make a decision yet was because they weren't ready yet to actually be their own boss. And that's important. Uh, you know, if you're ready to be your own boss, then there's really, really a couple of things that, that will come to mind that you will understand about where you stand in the way of owning your own business. Today, we're going to just talk about three of them. One is your attitude and motivation. Two, we're going to talk about this need that people have to want to find out how much I can make to make that decision. I want to talk about that. And thirdly, I want to talk about the other area that people find so difficult to overcome, which is the question of competition. Am I getting into a business where there's so much competition? So those are the three things that I'm, I'm, I'm going to focus on. And the first thing is, you have to have your priorities in order. And you have to be able to define what the results are of things that you're doing. It's, it's like the, the, the story of the guy who says, yeah, I, I lost weight with Jenny Craig. I pay her $300 a week. I can't afford to eat. Uh, you know, the, the fact is, is that that is not understanding what the priority is. And that's redefining the end result because the program is supposed to help you lose weight because the program works, not because you're paying so much that you can't afford to buy food, and that's how you lost the weight. That does not contribute to your understanding, really, where you are with trying to make that decision. The fact is, as a matter of fact, 50% of all franchises that are sold are purchased by people who have had something dramatic happen in their life in one of three areas. You lost your job, a divorce, major medical situation, uh, tragedy in the family, or geographic location. All my life, I've wanted to live in Vancouver, or Los Angeles, or Miami. And finally, I found a way to get there is by buying a business. So if you're in with that category, you're a prime prospect for buying a business because 50% of the people who buy businesses have something like that occur in their life at that time in their life, and that makes them decide, I'm ready to buy a business now, or I want to. If you are in that category, typically it's easier for you to be ready to be your own boss. If you're not in that category, then you have to do more homework before you're ready because you don't have that additional incentive. Now, the first thing I was talking about was motivation. Let's say you've been working for five days at the store, it's your own business, Monday through Friday, all of a sudden Saturday morning comes. And what happens? Your wife says, honey, the kids want to go to the mall, and I need you to fix the screen door. But you know that you need to go to the store, even though you've been working for five days a week. Or let's say it's not Saturday, let's say it's Sunday. And it's Sunday morning, and you want to watch the Vikings versus the Packers, or, well, we're in Canada, maybe you know, Montreal High versus Toronto Prep, or something like that. But, but you still know that you have to go to the store. That's important. 
Uh, it, it's, it's like, again, understanding the priorities. Uh, the couple that's getting married today, and the wife says to the husband, to the groom, uh, gee, honey, why are you bringing your golf clubs to our wedding? And he looks at it and he says, well, hell, this thing isn't going to take all day, is it? I mean, you know, that's, that's <laughs> understanding that the priorities are not in order there. They're going to have some problems down the road, but the point is, is that he's not ready for marriage, number one, but that's not our issue today. But he's certainly not ready to own his own business because his priorities are not in line. I, I, I'll give you an example of what I, what I mean by that. Uh, I see Marv Gurman is here. He's an owner of two successful businesses. You may get the chance to say hi to him later because he'll be at, at his booth at uh, the Yay Yogurt. But Marvin I would not even know that I would be asking him this question. And, and by the way, folks, when you're in a public engagement, you never ask a question you don't already know the answer to. But nevertheless, that's another little tip. Marvin, let me ask you something. The owner of two very successful businesses and, and are the investors in others. In the last five years, how many days would you say that you've taken during the week, Monday through Friday, morning, the afternoon, the whole day to go play golf? How many days would you say in the last five years? Zero. Zero. Now, in the last five years, he's taken zero days to go play golf on a Monday or a Friday. And the, the, the groom we just talked about, he wanted to bring the golf clubs to his wedding. All right? Second question, very important. Marvin, if you wanted to take a day, an afternoon, morning, during the week, to go play golf, would, is there anybody you would have to ask? Would you have to get anybody's approval or talk to anybody about doing it? No. There are several people that work for him that play golf once a week in this company. He owns the companies and several other companies. And in five years, he has never taken a day to go play golf. That is someone who is motivated and is ready to be their own boss. And that's the important thing about having that attitude. You have to be ready to go to the store, not five days a week, but seven days a week if it's a retail store. You have to be prepared to do that. And here's what's important about that. Why is that so important? Because if you go to the store Saturday when your wife is upset because you couldn't take the kids to the mall, or Sunday when you missed your football game, your attitude will not be positive. It'll be almost grudgingly, like, well, I'm going in. Sure, I've got to go in. I'll get this done. But why is that a problem? Because you will go into your business, and the average business will have two to five employees of a small business type like this. And your employees will catch your attitude. And it will trickle over to them. And what happens then? then the attitude that your employees have that they got from you because you really didn't want to be there that day will now be picked up by customers who come into your store because those customers will not feel like it's a fun experience, like they're welcomed and like you are excited to have them in the store. Instead, they'll feel as if like they're helping me because they have to. That is the wrong attitude to have and no one can motivate you to have that kind of attitude other than you yourself. No one can motivate him to not play golf in five years unless he wants to take that time to build his business. And that's what you have to remember. So the first thing about being ready to be your own boss is very simple. You have to be ready to give all the time necessary to build the business, to be there when it's needed, and to make your customers happy. So that's, that's, that's the important thing that you have to remember about that. Now, you also, in addition to being happy in your attitude, the second area is you have to understand how better to evaluate the business you're looking at. Too many people spend too much time in evaluating a potential business trying to figure out how much can I make. And I know many of you you, that question comes up, you're going around to different booths, and one of the first things you're asking is, well, how much can I make in this business? Let me tell you something very candidly, folks. What makes you think you can make as much as I can make running this business? What gives you that idea? What makes you think that because I have a store in Vancouver or in Ottawa that's doing X number of dollars per month, that that's what you're going to be able to do? What makes you think that? No, your attitude has got to be are they giving me the tools that I need to use my talents 
to build a business as successfully as I can. Let me give you my example, and, and I, I, I have a, a departure from the standard approach to this area. There is a phrase that has become so popular that now you don't even hear it just in the terms of finding retail businesses. I, the other day I heard it on a football game, the, the sports announcer used this phrase in talking about analyzing the game. And you've heard it before. It's location, location, location. Well, for 15 years, I've been saying, I buy into most of that, but it's location, location, operations. And now here's the reason why, and it ties into how much you can make. I can take two franchisees in the exact same business, both of them operating across the street from each other in the same neighborhood with the same demographics. Everything is the same. Two franchisees in the same business, and in that neighborhood, directly across the street from each other, at the end of the year, one of those franchisees will do 15, 20% better in sales and profit than the other one, with everything being the same. Why is that? Because the location was the same, the location was the same for both. The operation of one of them was run better than the other one. Maybe instead of coming in 15 minutes before opening, and leaving so close to closing that you're out the door ahead of your employees, maybe the other one was in two hours before and stayed two hours later. And if it's a flower shop, maybe they took the time to make a special bouquet that uh, some customer ordered right at five o'clock, whereas the other place, you told that customer, I'm sorry, you'll have to come back tomorrow because it's five o'clock, we're closed. Do you understand what I'm saying? So you can't ask me how much you can make. I have to know that you want to put in as much as you can to that business. What I can do as a company, as a franchisor, is to give you the tools, a structure, a blueprint, a format, a training and support that will enable you to then determine how much you will be able to make. And that is what the important consideration is. Now, of course, of course, we're going to, and all of the business opportunities here, not only are going to, but you can expect them to give you information financially in terms of projections of cost and expenses, and maybe what some of their corporate stores are doing, so that you can create a model, so that you can build a, a, a template of what potential there is for the business. But this notion of deciding whether or not I'm going to go into business and buy a business is going to be based on me finding out how much I can make from somebody else telling me that and then deciding that until I know that, that I'm not going into the business, then you're wasting your time. And I'll look forward to seeing you here five or 10 years and saying hi to your kids because they're ready for college to wish them the best because you won't be able to make a decision if you're waiting on that kind of information. And that's why it's so important. We can give you the tools, we can give you the blueprint, but you have to determine what you can do with that. And that's why location, location operations will have more determination as to what you can do. And don't feel like you have to know that before you actually open your store.